enclosure property. Let me explain. Hindi ito yung ipinagkait sa'yo ng taong basta ka nalang iniwan, ha? Closure property of addition and multiplication states that when you add or multiply an integer with another integer, the result is also an integer. Sige, tingnan natin. Kung meron ako ditong 12, an integer added to another integer, 12 plus 4, the answer is correct, 16. 16 is also an integer. So, we have here the closure property. Another, how about if we have your negative 8 plus 10? This is an integer added to another integer. The answer is correct. That's two, right? Which is also an integer. How about if we have closure property of multiplication? Suppose I have here 3 times 2. Okay? This one is an integer multiplied by another integer. What is the answer? 6. Is 6 an integer? Yes. So, you have closure property for multiplication. Another one. How about if I have negative 3 times a 5? What's the answer? It is negative 15. So, we have closure property for both addition and multiplication of integers. Now, you try to put an example, your own example of closure property of addition and closure property of multiplication in our comment section. Ha? Ilagay yung sarili yung example dyan sa ating comment section. And please don't forget to follow our page and share our videos para marami pang matuto sa math. At laging tandaan, let's spread the love of math at mag-aaral ng mabuti. Bye!